Hello guys, Seth with Erzy Outdoors. Out here on a big piece of property today, 3,600 acres. In here for some beaver, fisher, bobcat. Season in PA just opened up this morning. Me and Big Carl are in here getting set up. Uh, we're just rolled up to the first location. We got a main stream over here. We got a culvert pipe that comes under the two track uh, road. And uh, we're fixing to get this set up. We're using uh, snares today. We like to use snares for beavers, keeps them uneducated. and. You know, they, you, you get a miss, they just knock it over. It doesn't educate the beavers. Got a couple 330s. Uh, we're gonna show you all day today how we get set up on these guys. And uh, gotta give big thanks to Howie Deach here. He uh, got us hooked up with this property as most of my properties up here up north. He, uh, he was gracious enough to give us the uh, word on this one and we got in here and we're gonna get her set up hard. Stay tuned and uh, should be a good day. All right, we've come on the other side of this culvert here. We got a nice point that they're crossing over and coming down here. So we went ahead and put our anchor in. Piece of T-bar, 30 inch T-bar. Got our snare here. But we're fixing to get set up here. What we're gonna do is right in this corner here where they got some fresh chews. We're gonna make ourselves a caster mound. Pile this up. All that slick stuff. Take a longer stick here. Saves me on trapping wire. Got about an 18 inch piece of trap wire here. Put that like so. Got a real mucky bottom here. Put our snare support. We'll take our snare. Run that around the front of the caster mount. Or and your anchor point on it. I like to run about a 10 inch loop, 8 to 10. Just like that. Take a couple guide sticks. Like so. Doesn't take much to block them down and guide them in. Don't like to do too much, but I want to do enough that it's going to put them where we need them. And we're going to take some fresh chews here. Split these up. Good eye appeal. Some cavens, timber. I like to leave a little bit on the end of the stick here. Plug it into the caster mound. And let it just touch the water. It's going to let that caster get in the water and you'll see an oil trail come off that. And travel right through the water. That's our first one set up. And Got a nice little swamp behind us to check out, so we'll give it a look and see if we can get another one out. Just 
got to another little slick location here. Tons of fresh beaver chews right here in this whole corner is just littered with them all up and down this edge. So what we're gonna do here, same deal as last, come in here, pile up a caster mound. Get a bunch of these fresh chews here in a pile. Make it flashy, let them see it. You'll see that from quite a distance. These fresh chews piled up. Little mess of them. Just like that. We got a big two uh, saplings here. Anchored off with a lead. Take our trap identification tag. Get that secured. About the same size loop, 10, 8 inches. Set that going right to that caster mound. About three inches underwater on that bottom loop. It's generally where I like to be. This all blocked down. You can fence them in to an extent without bothering them, unless they're educated. Sometimes they don't like fencing at all. Other side, block it in a little bit. Something subtle. Take our cavens timber. Some on the end of this stick. Plug it right into that caster mound. It's a perfect setup. We already know they're in here working. All we're going to do is wait. You'll see this caster mound like that all piled up. They're already working in this spot, so it's a, it's a high percentage set. We like to keep them high percentage. We like to keep the ball rolling. All up in behind the camera here, you'll see a bunch of small trees and birch and stuff getting knocked down by these beaver. They're starting to knock the bottoms down and start chewing right through them they are. So we're set up for them and stay tuned and we'll show you some lassoed beaver. There's the caster mound. There's my snare. That's a caught beaver. Got big Carl crossing the creek here. If you look on this other side, there's a huge, big old community caster mound going up there that they're piling up, piling up. He's gonna go set that up. On this side, got a bunch of fresh beaver chews through here, all up and down this edge, a bunch of them all through here. You can tell they're coming up right here. We're going to go ahead and make a caster mound here with a snare, lasso some beavers. This is huge. Yeah. Big Carl likes to say the word huge like Donald Trump. Won't complain about that. Take our snare lead here. So 
thought I was going to have a close enough tree here to anchor to, but it doesn't look like I'm going to, so I'm going to have to grab a T-bar. Got our T-bar here. Good. Trapper tag. We want to have to play by the rules, folks. Make sure your gear is tagged. This club wants us to mark everything as well, so we'll be doing that. All right. We're gonna pile this up. Big old mound. Pick this up like these beavers are coming up in here. Nice caster mound. here put our loop in here there's a big hunk of shale here Venison. Just like that. I'm gonna find our trapping wire here. You set that stuff down, it disappears. There we go. Since the bottom's so shallow here, I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. And we've got to fence them in just a touch. Fresh cheese. Pile them up. Make a little beaver caster, put it at the bottom of the slide. That's how we're set up. We got a big slate piece of shale here or hard rock. 
I kind of had us keeping out away from the bank like we'd like to. I'd like to be more up on the base of the caster, but little subtle fencing like that, guide them in. Not that them rocks are any bit of subtle, but snares are pretty good with not educating beavers, so they'll work it. They'll check it out. We'll catch one. Got a bunch of chews right over there. Big Carl's over there getting that giant caster mound set up. He'll have a beaver there tomorrow, boy. Beautiful. Rain or shine, we're out here. Keep getting them set up all day. Got some fisher and cat trapping to do today, too. What's going on, guys? Got a location here. Tons of fresh chews along this creek. Got a spot where the forestry uh, department came in and logged off. So you got all these nice new saplings coming up. Found a spot where the beavers are coming up. Out of this nice shallow little creek here. It's only two feet deep. Got a spot where they're chewing constantly on this corner. Put a little caster mound. We got a cable right here. Beautiful setup. We're anchored off up there. Got our marker. Big Carl down here. See what he's got going on here. Another spot. Beavers are going up. There's tons of fresh trees through here where they're feeding. There's another spot they're going up. Fresh shoes. Oh, he's got some fresh chews over here. A little bit. It's loaded up. Awesome spot these beavers are going up. What do you got going? Well, it's a tough spot, but... Yeah, we're not trapping in so silt, mud bottoms or nothing, so this is all rock. It's a little tough to get set up the way we want, but... We're working on it. Get this one set up and we're going to move on down. Hold on guys. Right here we got a culvert pipe that comes off the main creek, goes up into a swamp. We got a big beaver lodge right here behind us. We got a deep channel right here. I stepped just a foot off it. I'm already up above, almost top of my thigh. So we know they're running through here. We got a 330 on a stakeizer. Set right in the middle of the channel. Always remember to take them safeties off. Safeties are off. Ribbon up. And I like to put a dive stick here, so I'm going to find a stick and we'll put it right on top. Take our dive stick. Right there. These beavers are going to come up to this dive stick and they're going to go under right into that 330. Coming out of the channel, we're more than 15 feet from that hut. That's law in Pennsylvania, you got to stay 15 feet away from hut, dams, beaver structures of most sorts. So we got a pretty good setup in here. We're willing to bet there'll be a beaver here tomorrow. Going on guys, now midway through the day here, just came to another location down an old woods road. Lots of fresh chewing through here, all on the other side. And these beavers are working. Came in here, got a nice little channel, just off a of drainage. We already have a lot of existing caster mounds here. That these beavers are coming up. So 
So we came in here, made a few of our own. Caster mound. Big Carl's up in that channel putting a caster mound. Had to use Wolfang Earth anchors here to anchor in the bank. Nothing to tie to with snare extensions. But we do what we got to do to make it work. Last beaver spot of the day we're going to get to. We got to get some cat traps in. Beautiful location. Giant lake. Otter heaven. Beaver heaven. Doesn't get any better than this. The ice fishing house. Gorgeous. What's going on guys? Seth with Airs the Outdoors. Out here today on the first check of the beaver fisher bobcat line. Uh, we just got to a property here. We're going to be checking all our beaver sets. Got a couple fisher sets in. Checking them out and moving right along. We're going to be adding some sets today for sure. Got a lot of ground to cover. Uh, it's going to get cold here so we got to play with that. Um, got a lot of coyote sets we're going to probably get in today uh, at some point. More of the bobcat line. And uh, hopefully today we got some catches. Stay tuned and we'll uh, see what we got here. What's going on guys? Out here just pulled up to another location. We can see the splashing from here. I think we got ourselves some beavers. Oh yeah, I can see it all splashed up. Looks like we got a double. Pull that beaver up out of there, big car. Get you guys a closer look. Yes, sir, Bree. Your body. Perfect neck catch. It's going to get wet out here today, boys. Check that beaver out. Nice beaver out here, too. happy. Nuisance beavers. Get these guys taken care of and I'll have to grab two more snares and put them in here. What's going on guys? Just conclude our first uh, check on the beaver line and uh, bobcat and fisher season here. We ended up catching a porcupine and a fisher set. Took care of him. We ended up picking up two nice beaver here at the uh, one location we're in. Had a couple other mishaps here and uh, a couple knockdown snares and stuff like that, but we're set up pretty good for him, so we should pick up some more. We're here going to check some beaver sets. Got a lot of good sign on the other side of this big pool here. So we gotta meander around this edge here and check a couple snares. What's going on guys? Out running some line today. Adding some cable restraints as we go that opened up here today. We got two sets over here on some fresh chews where the beavers were coming up. We got them all set up here about, eh, I figure about a week ago. We had some cold weather for most of the week, but it's been decently warm the past couple days. This is a slide where they were coming up. Got a beaver. Big one at that too. Check that guy out. 
We like to catch most of our beavers in snares. Simply come in here and anchor off. Nice big beaver, right behind the front legs, right on the front shoulders there. Go ahead and get this guy taken care of and got a bunch more to check. What's going on guys? Out here doing some checking, we set up some more beaver sets here yesterday. Uh, we got a long weekend, so we figured we'd get some more out. We had two 330s here right on the bank with caster mounds. See the traps are both missing. The first one here. There's a beaver. Little guy. Like a muskrat. I call it muskrat almost that big. And come over here. Another caster mount here. Another beaver. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys out of here and show you a better look and get some more set up. I'm pulling it up. What's going on guys? Now you're checking sets, we can see our 330 is missing from this caster mound. We're pulling out of here today, we've caught quite a few beaver. Oh, another little guy. Groundhog. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Taking rid of some nuisance beavers here. Everyone counts. Well, we're going to be pulling out of here for a little while, probably come back in when otter season opens up and hope we can connect with some otter. But for now, we are done here. That's Mother Nuisance Beaver uh, we're going to be taken care of for the game commission. Give us a call and got us set up in uh, two new spots, so we're going to be working on them beavers for here for a little while. And we'll wrap it up here.